Well, hello there and greetings to you. It is Matt, the real video guy. I was just stepping out for an evening walk and I thought I'd do a quick video from support. I had an email. Somebody was saying, hey, Facebook has changed their back end with the app developer section. And when it comes to WPSMS, how do we set up the access token and the client token and all this stuff with a new interface. So I thought I'd just before I pop out record this quick video and just walk you through setting up a Facebook app with the client token. Actually this is for WP SMS and this is with the account kit token. So let's go to my desktop here and have a look at how we go ahead and set this up. So we're on the desktop here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Facebook developers and why don't I just uh, start from the beginning here. I'm going to just refresh the page just to make sure we don't take any shortcuts. So here we are on developers.facebook.com. I'm logged in, so I'm gonna to go to my apps and I'm gonna add a new app, just like that. And we give it a display name, put in a support email, and let's create our app here. I'm not a robot, but I'll be back. There we go. And I'll show you the right way to do this. So we're going to hop over to settings. I'm going to go under basic here. And where we are at the moment is we're in the app settings. Okay, so each app has its interface. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a privacy policy URL and a terms of service. So I've got one here ready to go for my real video guide.com forward slash privacy. If you get stuck, then head over there and swipe mine. Just change the stuff you need to change. I'm not recommending that, but I'm just saying that's available to you. And then we've got our terms. So you need a basic terms of service. Uh, the privacy is more important. I think you might even be able to get away with just the privacy, but why not put in the terms as well? Let's go ahead and save changes. See how we go with the minimal setup here. Alrighty. And we'll go to products here. I'm just clicking the plus icon there. And we're gonna go account kit and choose setup. We're gonna choose web. And we're gonna skip all these steps. If you're a nerd, you can read this, but I've read it all for you if you're using the WP SMS. So we're all good to go there. And now we can go to the settings here. For require server validation, we're gonna leave it no for now, and I'm just gonna click get started. And here's our account kit client token but let's go back to our wordpress admin here and have a look at what we need so we've got our facebook app id we've got the account kit app secret account kit client token so actually we've got everything we need so facebook app id let's grab that we can see it up here this will be on every page app id i'm just going to click that to copy it We'll paste that in. Account kit app secret. That's this one here, account kit app secret. And we are under the account kit settings. You also have settings for your actual app. This is account kit settings, which lets you do something super awesome. I'm telling you, it is awesome to have Facebook pay for your SMS messages. Account kit app secret, and now we need the client token. 
that wasn't the secret so let me just copy that and I will reset this after recording this so there's no point anybody watching this video to want to be using my details then we've got our account kit client token I feel like I'm learning to speak for the first time all right there we go we've got our Facebook app ID account kit app secret account kit client token we've got some twilio options here this is for using the broadcast feature if you want to blast a lovely friendly sms message to everybody that's opt-in then you need the twilio but for the sms button opt-ins you don't need it you don't need to pay for that uh, you just get their email using this setup so let's go ahead and update details and just before we go ahead and get started with WPSMS let's head over to Facebook let's see if we can come out of development mode I'm just going to click that choose a category confirm there we go and now we can see we are live so hopefully this is going to work let's go back to wp sms and here you can see it in my menu i've got it installed and active we've got that set up all right we've got a brand new install i've got some cool videos there to help you get started i'm going to go to sms buttons we're going to create one super quick and then I'm out of here to go for my evening walk. Add a new SMS button. Get your report now. Destination URL. This is where they are automatically sent once people opt in, do the SMS opt in. I love this tool. It's amazing. And if you don't have it, you have to get it today. I'm telling you clicking continue and here's our preview of the button and I'm basically going to leave everything as it is I'm just testing this out really quick I will put uh, Australia for this one there we go I'm going to grab my button short code here and let's go and pop this on a page so let's just quickly create a page here. I'm in the text view here. I'm going to paste in my button, publish. Let's look at our page. there's my button let's click it okay something isn't working here so we probably forgot something let's go back and have a look at our Facebook setup here account kit you can customize this stay focused okay server domains redirect URLs yeah we need to just pop those in there country code blacklist are you serious all right yeah let's go back here and do this right now so I've got my uh, my domain and actually destination URL is the same so we need to add these links here let me just see if this is going to work just fine so I'm putting my server domain there which is actually my home page and I'm going to put the same link here in the redirect URLs let's go back and reload the page here and it's working awesome I was thinking maybe we need to have the full URL but this is all good so I've got to put in my number here
Let's put in my number here and click next. Account verified. Continue. Now I've already verified my email so I didn't get a text message. Otherwise I would get a text message and there we go. Off to the thank you page. So that is so super awesome using SMS to opt in. No emails and you as the actual vendor or you the provider or you the web, website owner, you can give people access to certain pages or certain information or special reports, videos, whatever. And instead of collecting an email address, you can use WP SMS to collect their mobile number and they will actually have to go and verify to validate the actual number. So um, they will have to validate the number on their phone in order to get access. So that just guarantees that you get a valid mobile number and then you can contact them, you can market to them, you can even call them which is super crazy awesome. So that's it. That is the superpower of combining modern technology which is text messaging automated, giving somebody access to a free gift by opting in with their mobile phone and then we're using Facebook to actually cover the cost of that text message. Now I know what you're thinking, hey it's only cheap to send a text message to somebody next door or somebody around the corner. That's true but if you've got people opting in from other countries, one text message can cost you more than a dollar and if you're getting a hundred of those a day or whatever that's going to add up super quick. So why not let Facebook cover the cost of the confirmation opt-in text message. So we're using that and then if you're like this crazy super awesome sales guy who can get on the phone and sell products, who's got the guts to get on the phone, then hey, you've got a verified phone number. You can get on that phone number and contact them straight away. And if you're doing that strategy, what you want to do is actually set up notifications where you will get an email the very second that somebody opts in. So you can strike when the iron is so hot, super hot. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is WP SMS. If you've got it, then go and use it. If you don't, don't have it, then make sure you grab it when it's available. It came out, it sold like crazy. Then I took it down and now I've got it up again for a very short time. So that's WPSMS. It lets you set up opt-in SMS buttons on your website and let WP, let Facebook cop the bill for all of those messages. Also, I'll just show you here, if we actually go in here, you can actually, um, that's it. I'm wrapping up this video and I'm telling you, get out there, make today count and get yourself some more clients, get yourself some sales over and out.